Hi everybody. We've got the pokey little puppy coming today to join us. Cute little story. And this was actually Cupcake's favorite story when she was little. She loved this story and the little mermaid. But this one we called Haley Pokey all the time. Didn't we, Haley? Goes like this. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, up the hill, one after another. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on the top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down that side was a fuzzy caterpillar. And I looked over that side and didn't see him. Looked over this side and all they saw was that fuzzy caterpillar right there. One, two, three, four. Where is that other little pokey puppy? But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, running round and round his nose to the ground. Look at him. He must smell something good, huh? Mimi does that sometimes, and so does Angel. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another, and down they went to see Roly Pump Poly Pell Mell Tumble Bumble till they came to the green grass, and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? they asked. I smell something, said the pokey puppy. Then the four little puppies began to sniff, and they smelled it too. Rice pudding, they said. Do you all like pudding? Do you like to eat pudding? It's nice and sweet, isn't it? And home they went as fast as they could go, and there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with rice pudding for dessert. Can you all do that? But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who dig holes under fences, she said. No rice pudding tonight. She made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone was sound asleep. He ate up all the rice pudding and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. He was sneaky, wasn't he? I don't think he was sneaky. I think it just took him so long to get there. And all the pudding was left while everybody else had to go to bed and go to sleep. The next morning, someone had filled the, in the hole and put up a sign, and the sign said, Don't ever dig holes under the fence. But the five little pucky, puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill. And when they got to the top, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side, and he wasn't coming up this side. Oh, I guess I should show you a picture. I'm so sorry. Can you see the sign? Bet Lassai could read it. Don't ever dig holes under this fence. Sure enough, that little puppy booty's going under there. So, he wasn't going down the other side, and he wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up this side was a brown hop toad. He's green in this picture. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there was the pokey little puppy sitting still as stone, with his head cocked to one side and his ear, his ear up. I hear something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies listened, and they could hear it too. 
Chocolate custard, they cried. Someone is spooning it into our bowls. It's amazing they can hear that. I don't think I ever heard Nana making me dessert. Might have smelled it, though. She made some wonderful desserts. And home they went as fast as they could go. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with chocolate custard for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who will dig holes under fences, she said. No chocolate custard tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone else was sound asleep. And he ate up all the chocolate custard and crawled into bed, happy as a lark. Look how ashamed they look of themselves. Like, oh, and off they went to bed. And here he is, eating all that chocolate custard. I might do that myself. Mm -hmm. Well, Sire, would you do it? I still think DJ would. Little Oz, would you eat all the chocolate custard? The next morning, someone had filled in the hole and put up a sign, and this sign said, Don't ever ever dig holes under this fence. But, in spite of that, the five little puppies did what? That's right. They dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He, man, he I almost skipped you again. You see the extra ever under the fence there. Ever, ever, I mean business. But they went ahead and dug it. He wasn't going down the other side, and he wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up this was a big green grasshopper. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, looking hard at something on the ground in front of him. I see something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies looked, and they could see it too. It was ripe red strawberry growing there in the grass. Strawberry shortcake, they cried. There's the grasshopper, and there, oh, there's the strawberry. I think every single one of you likes strawberries. And home they went as fast as they could go, and there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with strawberry shortcake for dessert. But their mother said, so you're the puppies who dug that hole under the fence again. No strawberry shortcake for supper tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the four little puppies waited till they thought she was asleep, and then they slipped out and filled up the hole, and when they turned around, there was their mother watching them. What well, good little puppy, she said. Come have some strawberry shortcake. Well, there's only four of them filling in the hole. wonder where the pokey little puppy is. And this time, when the pokey little puppy got home, he had to squeeze in through a wide place in the fence. And there were his four brothers and sisters licking the last crumbs from their saucer. Dear me, said his mother, what a pity you're so pokey. Now the strawberry shortcake is all gone. So the little pu pokey little puppy had to go to bed without a single bite of shortcake. And he felt very sorry for himself. And the next morning, someone had put up a sign that read, no desserts ever unless puppies never dig holes under this fence again. I'm trying to get it where it won't glare. There we go. The end. And that's the pokey little puppy. I hope you like it. <laughs>